And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Teemo Scouts. We got a new donation deck where we're going to be having a kind of a curve out aggressive deck filter uh, featuring Piltover and Zahn. This is going to be our main region. So you've got 33 Piltover and Zahn cards, 7 Demacia cards. And we're going to be trying to get aggressive and use some elusive. So we'll see what we got. All right, so the reason why we're going so much PNZ is because of Stump Snipe Scavenger, the PNZ Allegiance card that if you hit the Allegiance, you get to create a Stumpworks map in hand that costs zero for that turn. So you can grant an ally elusive. So we got those three, plus we have another two Stumpworks maps by itself. So we have five ways to get Stumpworks maps to grant our allies elusive. And we have some great allies to give elusive. So that can be giving it to Vi, which of course, you know, Vi can strike for a bunch. If we're playing a bunch of spells, you know, you can have a 6-4 Vi, 8-4, 10-4. That could be a ton of elusive damage. But then also our scouts. Right? Put Greyhorn Companion, put elusive on this thing. And now you have a 5 5 scout with elusive that's attacking twice. You know, that's 10 damage right there. Same with Genevieve Elmhart. So that's that's kind of what our deck's trying to do is just cheese them out with elusive scouts. Um, you know, well, we could still put it on Sumpworks Scavenger, put it on Chump Wump, all that kind of stuff. We could get some some elusive damage on them. Plus, we have the backup plan of Teemo and Puff Caps. We got our Puff Cap Peddlers. We have our Chump Wumps. Um, you know, we can just get a bunch of Puff Caps on them as well. So that's kind of our backup plan. One Relentless Pursuit to Rally. Um, that's kind of about it. All right, so here we go. Oh, whoops. Uh, discard whatever change I just accidentally made. We're going to go play five games over in Ranked. The person that donated for this deck said... Uh, just make sure you avoid Ash Sejuani. So let's see something else. We don't want to face that deck. I guess we want to face something else. That's because with that that deck, even though even if we make a big elusive, they just frostbite it and culling strike, and then we sad. Wow, the Demacia PNZ mirror match. It's not something I was expecting to see. So Beam is good against both of these. Um, I don't know. Chump Wump's good. I guess we just keep the good cards. Even though, even though it's kind of slow. Yeah, just avoid the most popular deck. <clears throat> and I was like, all right. So far, we are one for one avoiding the most popular deck. So, so far, so good. That's too bad. So this will give him three puff caps. So they got 11. So next turn I can give him another mushroom cloud. And then Teemo. I like drawing the Static Shock. So now Teemo's leveled up. Alright, so we're going to be able to strike them. pretty good. I 
don't think I play this. Thermogenic Beam. Okay, I was, I was hoping that the Swiftwing Lancer was going to be challenging the team. Like, either one of these would challenge Teemo instead of I. Of course, because we would have been able to kill either one of those. A lot easier. Hopefully we hit him for 10. To save the day. Why aren't they drawing puff caps? We got a bunch of them. Magic must be stopped before it spreads. I guess I could have gone Vault Breaker on that also to try to do another two. But basically, I wanted to use the thermogenic beam there so that I could um, gotcha to finish off this thing. Man, they just do not want to draw puff caps, do they? Here's the fun part. You can't outrun justice. Banish the unworthy. Root them out. Draw some puff caps. They are just not drawing puff caps. Draw four of them. At least two. Alright, at least two. It's not broken, just needs a little love. Then right. We're fine on our own. <laughs> and of course, with single combat being a card, I want to wait on this mystic shot. They haven't shown that they have single combat right now. See, if I just let them draw, it's like, I don't know, 50-50 chance. I mean, I guess it's a little less. It's like 40% chance that they just die. Clicking okay, just plays around single combat, basically. Puff caps! We just need them to draw those two puff caps. And we're finally connected. Let's see what we got. These are good five mana cards, but 
An opponent keep all five mana cards. We'll keep by and see what else we got. Yeah. Not necessarily the best. Definitely not the best. Yuck. Should have kept the three mana. Don't let the fluffy tails fool you. Four three. Yuck. Yeah. Not the ideal start for us. Hasuki! Now who's got the upper hand? It does look to be the ideal start for them. Pick on someone your own speed. So, of course, I want to play 4 mana Thermogenic Beam to try to kill Yasuo. So, to do that, um, Scavenger is the card we got to play, not one of these buys. Underestimate. I dare you. Is a leaf's only purpose. Oh. Two lefts, then a right. So many buys in hand. I think my plan is casting this Vi and giving them opportunity to spend their mana. Here's our chance. All right, maybe I just throw a Genic Beam. I guess I could have Mushroom Cloud did at first. Answer here. Um, I feel like I should block with one of these just in case. Can't get through this way. And so because of the rally in hand for the Teemo, Here comes the punch line. blocked like that. Vault Breaker plus rally is kind of cool. Obviously, there's a lot of good cards they can play that would be devastating. We're not in the best spot. Like, we, if we get lucky, we could have, you know, double Mushroom Cloud, two attacks, like, if we're lucky. That's not the likely scenario. Yeah, I'd probably recommend just stacking up wild cards for the 26th right now.
Now we've got the upper hand. Enforcer down. Think you're fast? Cute. Ooh. Let's see. So we're gonna have Great Horn Companion, Relentless Pursuit, and Chump Lump. Uh, let's see. Or Vi with those. Try to double up these puff caps. Or I just play the two mushroom clouds this turn. No, I'm gonna go with the relentless proceed. There's the one two punch. Hey, Dan. Two mana. Yeah. Yeah, it's because it's slow speed. That's why Caught in the Cold with slow speed is is very slow. It's a, it's a lot better to just get it um, with for free with Sejuani than spending two mana and uh, slow speed. There's just. It's not like necessarily a bad card, but there's just better cards to be playing. I don't know, I guess I play this. I mean, I'm gonna be playing the Chump Womp, it's just do I do I attack with Chump Womp into the tail of the dragon? Eh. Maybe not. Okay. That's pretty big. Doubling that up. That's pretty big. Well, they didn't have anything last turn to stop this. Most likely, the things that they would have to stop this would be cards like, you know, Yone and stuff like that. Darn. Underestimate. I dare you. Well, I can still get to triple spell. Let me draw seven puff caps. You plan him, kid. Uh, back up. I'm your backup. One girl wrecking crew. Draw seven puff caps. Oh, so close. Darn. I was hoping to play the Elm Heart this round to try to dodge that card if they would have played something else first. I got excited with that Elm Heart of like being able to dodge that card. They have roughly two puff caps per card. So if they don't kill me here, we will likely be winning. After the Yay! No overwhelm. 
No might. I'll defend these forests to the end. Down to one. Alright, GG's. That stands for victory. Two and O. Oh. With our Teemo Scouts. Getting those that puff cap damage in there. Yeah, yeah, Mega Rain's good. Yep. Yeah, I think Mega Rain's better than um better than uh caught in the cold most of the time. Yeah. Hey, what's up, Kordak? Uh yesterday. Um whoops, I hit the wrong button. Back to chat. Yeah, yesterday we had um, the we had a couple of decks that went really big that looked pretty good. The Hecarim Harrowing did well, and um, you know I made a new version of Yasuo Zed with three X Mina Swiftfoot. And it started a little slow, but it picked up, and it, we beat Frostbite Midrange both times we played against it. So that's really all that you can ask. There, so I was real happy with that. I like how Veteran Investigator, I don't know, I think Static Shock's probably good here. I just like how it's a two mana card. We don't have very many cheap units to play to be blocking. I don't really love the both players draw one against a deck that can empty their hand faster than us. So I, I don't like this clause for this matchup. This is a lot better later on in the game after you have a bunch of puff caps like against a slower deck. But we kind of just need Need it to be a blocker. To get rich. Have a mushroom. Have three. All hands on deck. All right, so plan is to have a 3-2, block a 3-2. 3-3, block a 2-2. And it looks like we're taking five. Could cast Static Shock to save two damage, but that's that's just two damage. Um, we're just going to play another Peddler. Feed Demacia! Here comes the punchline. All right, Vi, do your thing. All right, which your thing is them being scared and passing turn. That sounds good. Making the death deader. That's a good thing to do. Uh... I feel like they have repost. That's what I feel like with them. With them passing with all that mana, I felt felt like if I, if I challenged with Vi, they were gonna, they were going to play repost. Um, which means that maybe I let's see. Like, Brown too much. Yuck. Your face will stay like that. Still gives them repost mana like too. You around. This is pretty rough. What a mushroom help. Come on.
All right, so we'll shoot the Lucian. Oh no. Is a second single combat? That's not that bad. We're gonna take eight anyway. Now we can still st static shock and kill that thing. Um, I hope they don't have the tough card. It's not super likely they have the tough card. All right, eight mana, two, six. Hmm, can't do anything else. All right, so we could just go for... So they just played two single combats, right? They probably don't have another single combat, right? Like, we could just go for lethal with Sump Works Map, Relentless Pursuit. So that's five mana. I would have three other mana, so I could play, like... Peddler also, see if they spend some more mana. So yeah, we have the combo for lethal. They probably don't have a third. Oh no, that's only 15 damage. That's not, that's not 20, that's only 15. That doesn't attack four times, we attack three times. Just keeping the peace. Alright, sharp. Should, should probably play another blocker. Yeah, I noticed that a little too late. that a little too late. Why are you slow speed? If I could just Relentless Pursuit this right now, we would be good. Why is this thing slow speed? I really wish I would have played Static Shock instead. I shouldn't have gone for that. Should have Static Shocked. What seems to be the problem? I'm a peddler, not a meddler. Don't really know what I'm doing to win this game. Wasn't this? I had a block of five three also, but then I don't have another blocker. That wasn't it. All right, well I messed that. I messed that up, especially with Banner. Bannerman really punished me for not playing the the thing. I when I started doing that, I was thinking I was going to attack four times, and then I realized right after, you know, I realized that I'm not, you know, I wasn't attacking four times. I don't know if I even realized it afterwards, but that Bannerman hurt. I was relying on Static Shock. I had to do that before. Alright, good learning game, though. That's what it's all about. It's all about learning and um, getting better and stuff like that. So, Ezreal Twisted Fate. Kind of like all these cards. We don't need those as much. <clears throat> so I am expecting Teemo to die, but hopefully turn one with the attack token, we get to hit him at least once. There's plenty of killing left. Get rich. 
All right, scout ahead. See, our deck's just on on flavor. You know, we got scouts with the scout. And we got our Teemo sleeves. Let's go scout ahead. Alright, well, we definitely have to kill this Bark Beast. Obviously, my plan was gotcha. But we gotta kill that Bark Beast. Um, I think this is good use of mana. I'll just use the Thermogenic Beam right now. Get rid of that thing. My hand's very expensive. The Thermogenic Beam is going to be clogging up my hand. Open the cast like Make It Rain or Static Shock. Something that does one damage. One damage. Yes. More for my <laughs> Get him, Teemo. Get him. All right, let's go. Double it up. Don't blink or you miss me. Double it up. So now one has real down. I don't love just continually taking damage from them. Gonna play the Elm Heart to to heal Teemo a little bit. Treasures of the ages for Christ. Boys. Your conquest ends here. I know this isn't the fun play. But I think this is the best play. Boys. Just, just too much damage. It's not what I want to do. But that Teemo did really good. Okay, how can we finish the game out? Yeah, they did play the Yordle before the Black Market Merchant. Oh, come on. How are they not drawing Puff Caps? Rook 
Lucky, this mustache is older than the badge. <laughs> they got no puff caps. Why aren't they drawing any puff caps? This really didn't work out. I guess Peddler and Scavenger would have been a better play last turn, I guess. Should have just challenged with should have just challenged with Vi before playing that 3-2. Should have just challenged with Vi. Play the 3-2 first because I was planning on challenging the 2-1 with Vi and then being able to attack with you know attack with the others. Um, or you know, maybe I should have just still just challenged because of Just need to trade more things. Tider X got it, got me. I don't know. I, I wish we had something better than Veteran Investigator. I understand that, like, the very end of the game, Veteran Investigator can be pretty cool, but I need I need two drops that I can play on turn two, and it's just not a two drop I can play on turn two. Veteran Investigator was a big minus in that game. Giving my opponent more cards, helping them go find Riptide Rex. Card was very bad in that game. And I didn't really love it the previous game. I had to play it against the Lucian deck, but it also just helped my my opponent curve out with their Lucian deck. This is I think that's the card I think that card really needs to go. This is just not a deck. You know, like I have to be able to keep my two my two mana three two, but I can't keep it against deep either. So that card's got to go. It's costing us games. I think with all these Sumpworks maps, we should just be playing um, the two mana three two. Uh, the pickpocket. We should have the pickpocket in here. Alright, so I either go Vi and kill Maokai, or I go aggressive and go scout plus Sumpworks map. With this match, with this deck, with not having that much removal, I'm going to go scout plus Sumpworks map. For the bounty board today. Why do I have to say they have not much removal? Hmm. I'm still gonna get ten in there. And maybe the Lelis Pursuit. No. Of course, with them tossing their deck, that's good for the puff caps. 
So getting in a lot of damage like this, hopefully they toss a lot of their deck, we give them a bunch of puff caps, and they draw too many puff caps. That is a wish. cards left. I'm going to give them the Mushroom Clouds yet. My strength is yours. By pumping this up, now Devour the Depths doesn't kill this, and Grass the Undying doesn't kill that. The moose is loose. And I could, I mean, I could Vault Breaker it to give it more power as well. But obviously we have the rule on this pursuit too. We'll just kind of see what happens. Potentially. Potentially Relentless Pursuit's better. We'll see. go like Withering Whale and Grasp of the Undying both, then we're going to be on the Puff Cap plan. Okay, just Grasp to gain three. So Pursuit puts them to one. I think that's a good play, putting them to one with all these Mushroom Clouds. They've already played a bunch of Grass of the Undyings. I can put them to three if I want to challenge that thing, but I don't think that that's a good idea. So we're just going to attack with the Scout. Right, zero Puff Caps right now. Um, next turn, we can give them 20. They have zero right now. Hmm. Mystic Shot's not bad either.
I know I could mystic shot them in response. I got ways to find me mushroom. I'm just gonna let them go down to 16 cards and give them 20 puff caps. Because of course, you know, I could mystic shot them, but then they could play whatever thing to gain life. I would just rather do this. Them have 16 cards and 20 pop caps. Three? Okay, just one. Just one. So now they're in Teemo range. And one of these things range. And Mystic Shot range. Dang, that got rid of a lot of pupcaps. They're pretty dead. Mystic Shot was like easy mode. I don't I don't want easy mode. This way. Armed and ready. I tried being polite. Get him Timo. Cool. This is the last game of the day. Gotta go some style. And Mystic shot face, not, not style. Out. But leveled up Teemo and Elusive Vi, that is some style. All right, so yeah, our deck did pretty well. Three and two. I just say the that's the one thing is that we need another two drop to like play on turn two, and we just don't have. Um, so yeah, I would definitely get rid of that card. And honestly, I don't really like Patrol Wardens either, because this is not something that we can play on turn two very often. You know, most of the time this is just going to be a three mana card. And for how our curve is, we need more. We really need just some two mana cards, which we don't have. Um, I could see playing Bright Steel Protector or War Chefs. We need some. We need some actual two drops that we play on turn two, which vet, Veteran Investigator is not that, and Patrol Warnings is not that either. So we need actual two drops. Um, you know, War Chefs is good. You know, with these elusives, you can you can pump up the elusives and stuff. You can pump up your challengers. And Bright Steel Protector works great with the challengers. So maybe it's actually just those cards and not the pickpocket. Protector is not the best on turn two, but you can at least play it on turn two. Where Protector is still great in the late game. Uh, with these things, it's still very good in the late game, and you know your protector can protect Teemo at times if you get to like untap with a Teemo, and you think they're going to use the removal spell during combat, or War, War Chefs pump it up. Oh, that's right, we have to keep the PNZ count high. Right, we have to keep the PNZ count high. All right, never mind. Going back to pickpocket. I remember there. I thought there was something. Okay, never mind. Back to pickpocket. True, true. Got to keep that PNZ count high. Neither is for some reason we weren't just playing those cards. Okay. All right. Well, we're going to go three pickpocket and one patrol wardens. But there we go. That'll work. I wonder if used cask salesman is good in here. Get just extra blockers. No, probably not. Yeah, pickpocket. Yeah, you can't really play the... Yeah, Boom Crew Rookie 1-3 is just not any good. Pickpocket's very good. Um, I don't I don't hate Clump of Wumps either to get more Mushroom Clouds. I would rather play Clump of Wumps, I think, over the Veteran Investigator. 
but pickpocket's really good and and it's not a bad card to sumpworks map um intrepid mariner maybe you could play one of these the one three is super bad but maybe you could play one to give an ally elusive with the support it's definitely not something you want to have a, a hand filled with but there would be times where intrepid mariner would be really good So you can maybe play one Intrepid Mariner also over the Patrol Wardens, maybe. But one threes just don't trade with much. Um, you know, with this format, you just got to have two power for sure. All right, so just that one little change, but that was pretty sweet. That was uh, pretty impressive giving some, um, giving some elusive to these scouts that could attack multiple times or divide the attacks for a bunch pretty cool there i could see instead of true shot barrage i could see playing if you want you know if you maybe like playing like one progress day at the top end just to to draw a ton of cards i could see doing that instead of true shot barrage because like i'm not sure if like three and then two and then one damage is is really that much so i could see going a progress day instead But that's what we got three and two and you know maybe one of you know maybe that lucian matchup was winnable like that matchup might have been winnable if i would have played the static shock earlier before the bannerman so that could have could have possibly been a four one there all right but that's it here for timo scouts those y'all watching later on youtube hit that like button over there and leave those comments let me know what you think about this new brew and uh, anything like that but thank you so much for watching and i'll see you for the next video